been talking about personalized medicine for years, and it's never really materialized. Um, and, and we think largely that's because something magic had to happen and it never did. Um, the first was to understand specifically um, how person, what personalized health meant in a system that's, that's essentially broken. And secondly, we could never figure out how to monetize personal health. Right? So there's been a lot of change in this industry. And um, after six years of development with my partner on the health side, David, Dr. David Caval, and myself in life sciences, we've come up with a solution we call U-Score. Um, U-Score is a single dynamics um, score that delivers the power of calculating a person's uh, state of health today, but it also gives them a window into their future. Um, and truly personalizes their medical experiences because U-score is their personal health score. So U-score is calculated. Um, it's, not, it's, it's not a small score that just looks at pain or, or, or looks at certain elements of health. We look at genetics. We look at your lifestyle. We look at your comorbidities. We look at socioeconomic factors. We look at pain, function, stress, the drugs you take. Um, psychological factors that affect you day to day, and we look at several other metrics. It also integrates and helps consolidate information that's, that's completely fragmented in this industry. For example, passive wireless um, devices the, like the smartwatches and the, the wristbands that you're walking around, and uh, we're wondering how you would ever make them useful or relevant, because they create all these little silos of data that you, you have nowhere to put them. So let me ask you this. <clears throat> How many of us would like to know what the implications of all the bad decisions we've made this week, or even here at this event, mean to us in 10 years? Um, or what is putting off losing those extra 10 pounds doing to your health in the long term? Or what would happen if you got off the couch three times a week and went for a walk? Imagine, too, then, that you can compare yourself to a cohort of your age group and your gender. And that lunatic that gets up at 4.30 in the morning goes for a run, you can see how you compare with him. Oops, I'm stepping out of the picture, sorry. Um, uh, the the U score is you, and that's the lunatic. It's the, this, the them score, right? And that gives you a view into how you're doing with your health. And so, the way we talk about it is, when you have a health problem, we have a score for that. <clears throat> We've assembled a phenomenal team of people to work on, on these problems. We have people from insurance, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and distribution. We, we also have technologists, um, well-known scientists, doctors, PAs, nurses, and mathematicians, all working to build this company. Um, so where are we today as a company? Well, we've, we've filed, some, we've filed um, patents on U-Score, and some of the patents were filed as recently as, what was it, yesterday? <laughs> um, proprietary artificial intelligence, neural networking techniques that we use not only to calculate our score, but also to provide very sophisticated analytics and predictive signaling um, for, for our, what we consider our back-end clients. We have an academic partnership with Georgetown University and Medical School, and we, we're forging together um, uh, programs with them to study U-Score further. Um, with Conrad, we, they're a global NGO. Um, they're our clinical partner. And we're releasing two consumer applications in the next 60 days to establish an, into an established um, distribution channel uh, designed to drive early revenue and quickly build a robust user base. This, this is a huge distribution network deal that we've been able to put together in, in the last two or three months. Um, and most important, this, the, getting these apps into this distribution network allows us to start building the data we need to drive the score. From a financial point of view, we're projecting uh, revenues, uh, five-year revenues of 540 million, 25% coming from consumers via mobile and web application subscriptions, and 75 from industry and governments through, uh, through leveraging unique data sets that we'll be creating, advanced predictive signaling and analytics. Our health framework is designed to drive revenue by cross-selling uh, new plugins into the established user base. 
Um, the plugins are related to illnesses. So if you have um, comorbidities, and, and there's, a, there's a startling statistic that three out of five Americans have up to five or more comorbidities. And a comorbidity, if you don't know, is an illness. So there are a lot of sick people out of there, and we have to take into account how those morbidities affect their health and their score, right? So we build these plugins that start tailoring their medical care, once again personalizing it, and, and, and making it personal for, for that particular person. So we have plugins coming. Uh, for example, oh, uh, we've got plugins coming for osteoarthritis, cancer, cardio, diabetes, PTSD, and, and a range of other, a range of other uh, morbidities. So, last one. Um, so, so imagine you, um, yourself, using U-Score and what that could do for you personally. Imagine what a tool like this could do in the hands of people like you as captains of industry. And just think about what insurance companies and drug companies could do um, with, with this data from just the perspective of cost management and population health management. U-Score is a precision medical instrument for the consumer, for, it, for industry, for research, and for government. We call it Health 3.0. Thank you.